In the shattered landscapes of our world lies a hidden terror more deadly than the conflicts that birthed them, a chilling, silent assassin that claims lives long after the guns fall silent. Minefields. These lethal patches of earth, remnants of past wars, quietly await their next victim, painting a haunting portrait of danger that endures long after peace treaties are signed and soldiers lay down their arms. But first, smack the devil out of the subscribe button so you will never miss out on another historical adventure. But now, back to business. Among the most dangerous minefields in the world, several stand out for their widespread impact, causing devastating consequences to communities and hindering the path to progress and recovery. Afghanistan, a country long afflicted by conflict, houses some of the most perilous minefields globally remnants of decades of warfare. The Soviet-Afghan war, followed by internal conflicts and the US-led invasion, left behind vast swathes of land laden with landmines and unexploded ordnance. These hidden dangers lurk in agricultural fields alongside roads and around communities, causing horrific casualties and impeding reconstruction efforts. Another significant area riddled with minefields lies in the Korean peninsula. The Demilitarized Zone, DMZ, separating North and South Korea, is one of the most heavily fortified and dangerous areas on Earth. With an estimated two million mines strewn across the zone, the DMZ represents a formidable barrier and a constant threat to civilians and wildlife. These mines, a legacy of the Korean War, continue to claim lives and restrict access to vital land for agriculture and development. The legacy of landmines also plagues parts of Africa, notably in countries like Angola and Mozambique. Decades of conflict have left behind vast numbers of landmines, rendering large areas uninhabitable and hindering socio-economic progress. Agricultural land, crucial for food production, remains inaccessible due to the lurking dangers beneath the soil, perpetuating poverty and food insecurity. In the Middle East, countries like Iraq and Syria grapple with the deadly aftermath of recent conflicts. The rise of ISIS led to the widespread use of improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and landmines, leading to devastating consequences for civilians. These hidden explosives continue to cause casualties, hindering the return of displaced populations and impeding post-war reconstruction efforts. The impact of minefields extends far beyond physical injuries. Entire communities live in constant fear, unable to access crucial resources, agricultural lands, or essential infrastructure. Moreover, minefields hinder humanitarian aid and demining efforts, prolonging the cycle of suffering for affected populations. Efforts to mitigate the dangers posed by minefields include demining operations, awareness campaigns, and international treaties such as the Ottawa Treaty, which aims to ban the use, production, and stockpiling of landmines, However, progress is slow due to the sheer scale of the issue, lack of resources, and ongoing conflicts in affected regions. Thanks for watching.